Hi everyone, welcome back to my garden. Janie here. Today we are in my side yard. This is the west side of my house and this is my kitchen window. So unfortunately my kitchen window looks straight out into a fence. Uh, nothing interesting to see, no view. So when I moved into this house, one of the things I wanted to work on is I wanted to work on making this area of my yard nice and pretty to look at. So when I'm in there and I'm doing dishes or I'm cooking, I have something nice to look at um, and you know, something beautiful to see. So I did do a honeysuckle espalier uh, on the fence and that is right behind you. And then last year I actually added in this window box. And last year I put strawberries, strawberry bushes uh, and strawberry plants in the window box which was wonderful because we could just kind of reach out the window and grab some strawberries, which was really nice. However, strawberries don't have much to look at, right? It's mostly just foliage. Um, so, you know, it's really fun to see, you know, and you could be uh, doing the dishes and say, oh, we have to go get some strawberries, but I really wanted some color. So over the winter, I put in these beautiful pink cyclamen, which was absolutely gorgeous. It was this beautiful pop of color all winter and I loved it. And this is definitely something that I'm gonna repeat for um, future years. And cyclamen does really well for us when it's cold. Um, so usually we start planting it in November, December, and then it lasts all the way through till about this time of the year. But you can see the cyclamen is just about done. I'm not gonna toss it. I'm actually gonna transplant it into another area of my garden where I have other cyclamen and I just leave it there and it just comes back and it blooms every year and it's gorgeous. This year for my window box, I really wanted to focus on the view from the inside to out. So I am rarely out here on my side yard unless I'm, you know, walking through it to get to the backyard or taking out my garbage or something like that. I'm never just kind of hanging out out here in the side yard. I But I do spend multiple times a day, every single day inside in my kitchen. So I thought that it would be way more important for me to focus on the view of my flower box from the inside out rather than the outside in, which is what we often do. So when I normally plan a window box, what I do is I do the same thing for a pot recipe is I do a thriller, a filler and a spiller. But in this situation where I'm only looking from the inside out, um, a thriller filler and spiller combination is going to be wasted because I'm not going to see the filler and I'm not going to see the spiller. So I didn't want to go that route with this window box this year. I wanted to do something different. Um, and that's where my tape measure comes in. One of the things I really wanted to focus on was enough height so that you can see the what I have planted from the inside out. Now you can see these cyclamen, they got to, I don't know, probably about 10 inches tall, I would say. And I could see them standing standing at the kitchen window, you know, or the kitchen sink and looking out. But my daughters who are shorter than me, they couldn't see them at all. So um, I really wanted to focus on height. And what I did is I brought this tape measure out so that I can measure from where the soil level is to the top of the window where we would see and to see how, what the minimum height is for my window box that I wanted to look for the plants. So it was about 10 inches was the absolute minimum. So when I went to the plant store to look for plants for this window box, I really focused on plants that were gonna get, uh, you know, 12, 15, even 18 inches tall so that we could see it really well from inside the kitchen. You guys are probably noticing the big bandage I have on my finger. I cut my finger with my Falco pruners when I was pruning the other day. My fault, I was just going too fast and not paying attention um, and I just sliced the tip of my middle finger. So four stitches later, here I am with the bandage. It's just slowing me down a little bit, but I'm planning to put uh, rubber gloves on and then my gardening gloves on to protect it while I'm doing this project today. So let me show you guys the plants that I chose for this window box, um, considering that I'm really focusing on height and there's absolutely no point for a filler and a spiller. Um, you know, it's mostly the thrillers that I was, I was leaning towards this time. So I leaned heavily on my favorites and I think I just go to the plant store and I see them and I think, oh, I want them, I want more of them. Um, so these two plants are two of my absolute favorite plants to plant in my garden. And the first one is 
Helen von Stein's lamb's ear. And um, if you guys live anywhere near my zone, I live in zone 9B, Northern California. This plant does so, so well for us. I love it because it has these fuzzy leaves and it just thrives in our heat. So this plant gets, let me just make sure I saw it, 12 to 18 inches tall, which is plenty for right here. So it's gonna get to about right here and it's gonna bring in this nice silver, silvery foliage, which is going to contrast really well with the green, the dark green honeysuckle foliage right behind it. And I think it's just gonna look so lush and beautiful. I'm gonna pair that with a salvia. So normally I go for Mystic Spires Blue Salvia. That's one of my favorite plants. And I was looking at that when I was at the store, but then I saw this Proven Winners Unplugged So Blue Salvia. So it's a version, it's very similar to the Mystic Spires Blue, 14 to 24 inches tall. So again, plenty tall enough to be able to see it through the kitchen window. But I wanted to try this version um, as compared to the Mystic Spires Blue. So I think these two together are beautiful. I have this combination in another area of my yard and I absolutely love it. I just think it's so calming and so peaceful. And once you get the blue spikes all over the place with the salvia, and then you contrast that with the silvery Helen von Stein lamb's ear. It's so, so beautiful. So I'm really excited about this combination. I'm going to alternate them as the window box goes down and that is it. That's all I'm going to do for the window box because there's no point to add anything else in because the view from where I'm going to be looking at it, you really can't see it. You can't see any spillers or anything like that. So it's kind of a money saver because I'm also going to be able to plant these out into my garden uh, after I'm done with this window box as well. so I have all of the cyclamen planted you can see the darker is the um, the ones that I already had here those were from last year and actually I got those off of the Lowe's clearance rack it was a whole flat of them and they were perfectly fine and so I grabbed them and took them home and they've been such a wonderful addition um, I have to apologize about the filming I'm trying to do it with one hand and so I am not doing a great job today <laughs> but you can see the lighter cyclamen all dotted throughout those are all the ones that were in the uh, window box over on my kitchen window that I transplanted and I even put some up here so I can start kind of spreading the color kind of as it goes up here and you can see next to the Camelot Mix foxgloves it's so beautiful so they are definitely bloomed out but uh, last year, my other cyclamen, they kept some color all season long. So I'll just have to see how this variety does. Um, I'm not totally familiar with it, but these are expensive plants. I don't know if you guys have ever bought cyclamen, but they are not cheap. So I do not want to just give them or throw them away or be done with them. I want to save them and I want to put them in my garden bed. And hopefully at some point, this whole garden bed will be covered in cyclamen um, as I you know, each year I go through and I plant them in as, as annuals and then I can transplant them out because they're actually perennials in our area. There's a closer look, one there, and then here's one that's actually looking pretty good at this point. Isn't that pretty? So it is bringing some color. I tried to clean them up a little bit as I planted them in, but anyway, looks good.
And then one other thing I wanted to show you guys, my crepe myrtle tree, I don't know if you can see it right there, it is starting to leaf out, which is very, very exciting. So the really the only winter interest for this tree is the beautiful bark. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it's deciduous, so it lo loses all its leaves during the, the winter. So there's really nothing to look at all winter, and then once spring comes and it starts to leaf out, it is a beautiful tree. And then in about June, July, this tree gets bright pink. It's, it's honestly, it's the same color pink it's kind of like a combination of these two cyclamen. So it's really gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I love it. You can see it as you're driving down the street and I can't wait for the blooms to come so I can show you guys. Okay, so let's go plant the lamb's ear and the salvia in my kitchen window box now. All right, you guys, so I am all done with my kitchen window box project. I think it turned out really well, all things considering I kept my bandage clean and dry, and that was the ultimate goal. So what I did is I alternated the Helen von Stein lamb's ear with the unplugged So Blue Salvia from Proven Winners. And I just kind of went down and alternated each one because again, I'm not worrying about filler or spillers in this window box because I'm really focusing on what it looks like from the inside out. And I'll show you guys a peek at that, even though they're still a little Little short give it a couple weeks and these guys are gonna be nice and tall and I'll be able to see this nice calm cool uh, color scheme as I'm doing my dishes and cooking and cleaning inside there and doesn't that sound nice so both of these plants are full Sun to part Sun actually the lambs ear is actually part shade so it can take a little bit more shade than the salvia this window box is I would say it's about part Sun to full Sun because it gets five to six hours of Sun but it does get the hot afternoon Sun um, the strawberries did really well here last year so I'm not too worried about it I think it'll be fine I decided not to renew put in new soil to this flower box because I just did that in November when I planted the cyclamen and I didn't think that these guys needed it um, all I did is I amended the soil with a little bit of sure start from EB stone which I think should be plenty for the root system for these perennials um, when I have these plants in my garden I barely I maybe I fertilize them once in the beginning of the season and then I just don't really worry about it they're really um, hardy plants and they're really really happy in the zone which is probably why they're some of my favorite plants so let me show you guys a peek at what it looks like from my kitchen window from the inside out okay so I'm obviously in my kitchen right now but you can see they are just starting to peek their little heads up over the window but they're probably gonna get to about this tall so it's gonna be a really beautiful vista while you're sitting there doing uh, doing the dishes and then you can see my honeysuckle espalier in the background I am leaving the new growth because I want it to flower it's about time for it to start flowering and I don't want to cut off any of the buds any more than I have to so I'll keep Keep it clean but I'm gonna let it get a little wild over the next month I think is my plan so you guys that's it for the video today I hope you enjoyed my little makeover of my kitchen window flower box it's a little bit different because again I'm focusing from the inside out not from the outside in so it's not like a normal window box like that I would do um, like the one by my front door that one I walk by every single day to get in the front door so for that one I want a thriller filler and spiller this one I only want thriller and I want them nice and tall so I can see it from the inside out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.